Happy Friday. It's another Five Things Friday, and it is a gorgeous November afternoon. I'm sitting outside in the sun, sipping my coffee, and I'm so excited to talk to you about some of my favorite reads from 2018. Today we are doing five things reading edition. These are some of my favorite reads from the past year. And reading, believe it or not, is my favorite pastime. I read anything and everything I can get my hands on. The only thing that no one warned me about before I started writing mysteries is that it's really, really hard to read a mystery when I'm working on one of my own. So I save mysteries, I covet them until I'm on an editing break or in between books and then I devour them quickly. Here are my top five favorite reads of 2018. Number one, Eleanor Oliphant. Oliphant, for those of you who have read it, maybe you know exactly how you pronounce her name. Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. Have you read this book? Did you love it? I will not give any spoilers away in sharing my reads. I just want you to have a new list of cozy things for winter. But I loved this book so much more than anything because Eleanor is such a resilient character. Uh, she's quirky, she's socially awkward, uh, but she's a trooper and a survivor. And despite the fact that the book has touches of deep, deep sadness, it ends and has a, such a message of becoming who we are that runs throughout it. If you haven't read it, I highly recommend it. And I just learned that Reese Witherspoon picked it up as a movie. So read it before it becomes a movie because the book is always better. Number two, A Murder of Magpies. Technically, I think this book came out a couple years ago, but like I said, I stockpile my mysteries. So I recently read this book, recommended by my friend Aaron, thanks Aaron, and absolutely am in love with it. First of all, it's set in England, which I'm a sucker for anything that's set in England. And second of all, it revolves around a bookish mystery with people in the editing and publishing industry and a celebrity tell all book that suddenly disappears. I'm again, no spoilers, but for any of my mystery lover readers out there, go grab a murder of magpies. You will absolutely love it. Number three, how to stop time. As of late, I've been reading a lot of sci-fi and I especially love science fiction that has notes of literary fiction and romance and how to stop time hits all of the right notes. It's a timeless story, <laughs> duh, hence the title, of a traveler of sorts who has a condition that makes him age at a much, much slower rate. So he's been around through long stretches of time during Shakespeare and during each of the wars. And so it's sort of a look at what it's like in history to keep repeating the same pattern. So it's very relevant today. And it's just also sort of a beautiful love story. So I highly recommend it. Even if you don't think you like sci-fi, you should give it a try. Number four, The Oracle Year. This is another sci-fi. Sci-fi has definitely been on my TBR stack. Like I said, this is a bit of like the Da Vinci Code meets a Dan Brown novel. It's a page turner, it's a thriller. Um, and it will definitely make you think. I don't wanna give anything away, but I think you should go grab a copy because I have a feeling that it's gonna turn into a huge blockbuster. Number five, The Women in the Castle. I loved, 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 loved this book. I love anything that is set during World War II. And this is, book is set in World War II, but in the German countryside, which is not um, a setting that I had read before. I've read a lot of World War II stories that are set in England, of course. The book parallels three different women and their journeys during the war. It's a story that has so many notes of what's happening today in our global culture. And it's also just a beautiful story about women. I highly recommend it. And if you've read the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Society, it has hints of that. So if you're a Guernsey lover like me, go get yourself a copy of The Women in the Castle. 
Thanks so much for joining me for another Five Things Friday, my favorite books edition. It's the end of the year. We're going into the holiday season. I would love to hear your reading recommendations. What are some of your favorite books of the year or what are you looking forward to that's coming out in 2019? Be sure to subscribe and click the bell below to get notified when I upload new videos and happy reading.